Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fableheim and Nadir, a grim, dark deck builder. Last time we played as Vlad the Impaler, and we unlocked a few new toys for Jean d'Arc to play around with, as well as avenged her and slew the demon Cerberus. So today, our primary goal is to check out these additional card rewards and even rare cards, if we can find them, for Jean d'Arc, and perhaps challenge the great evil Beelzebub. Let's see if we can do it. Still haven't killed this guy, but you know what they say, the third time is the charm. I don't believe my starting deck changes at all, so we will run in. I can't help but notice that Jean has 70 hit points. Was Jean nerfed? How dare they. The Blight Maggot is an enemy that we have seen many times, many, many times. So I think we just slap. We'll gain some armor, no big deal. Perhaps, probably. It's not that big of a problem if, if, if the maggot becomes shielded. Really? Because we can just slap him. And then we can slap him again. Twice, in fact. It's going to feel quite different um, playing as Jean. Because unlike Vlad, Jean has 20 starting armor. So we can kind of be a little bit more reckless. She also would like to lean a little bit into defensive mechanisms. More so than Vlad, who was kind of just running it down. <laughs> what do we have? My oh my. So defensive stance. Up, gain five counter. Apply to rage. Now this apply to rage is to the enemy. I'm pretty sure. Because that's how taunt works. Taunt gains five shielded. We block five bloody attacks, but the enemy gets two rage, which does kind of suck. Master Slash, deal 24. That could be amazing. Delay, 10 HP. And it's a stealth card. So we first encountered the stealth mechanic with Vlad the Impaler. And I've been sitting on it a lot. I've been thinking a lot. Stealth could be really good. What stealth does is that if a card is going to trigger, so if it's one pip away from triggering, you can play stealth and it will not trigger. So in some situations, it can be just a free card. Delay, however, I'm still on the fence about this. Delay means that it's not going to activate its effect until you redraw your hand, which of course gives benefits to the enemy as well. This is good with rage. This is from a slashes. Master slashes is pretty good. Okay. We'll try this rejuvenate thing. I don't know if we're going to equip it yet. We're not. <laughs> Two Repentance. Suffer six damage. We'll take Master Slash and Tom. It's okay. We'll think about it. As for our deck, uh, we can create it. I don't know. We'll do it. I don't like holding too many three cards. It's really sketch. But uh, we'll see. We have seven cards in our hand. We have a damned reward. These are all the same. Okay. So we'll just grab Alexander of Macedon again. I liked that. Although Ragnar could be really good. But we'll we'll take Alexander. I still think Sigmund is terrible. One counter, that's not much. We have moved on. I also can't help but notice our armor has not fully recovered. Is that new as well? Nope, it's back. Okay. The Lump of Flesh. 20 armor, 35 hit points. This should be no big deal. We begin with one precise, but we did not draw an overly friendly ability for this one crit, but that's okay. We can still deal 12. So besides dealing some damage, the Lump of Flesh appears to be about armor, gaining armor himself, or reducing... Oh, he applies Rust to himself. Oh, that could be good. Hmm. I'd love to have that crit back for a wide slash. I suppose there was an argument to be made. Hmm. We're going to pop this gain shield in and then pop that one. There was an argument to be made about redrawing on turn one. Of course, that would give him 12 armor, but then we could look for a 
very fancy. Well, this blows. I have miscalculated. If I play shielded, he, of course, attacks for six and pops it. Which means... That's not great. Hmm. So the only way we're going to actually make use of our shielded here... Hmm. Awkward. Okay, I guess we're just going to avoid the thing in the middle. As best we can. This three cost card is kind of just sitting in my hand doing nothing. Oh, perfect. We drew the 15 to cut him down to size. So we can sacrifice rage to deal damage. We don't have a whole lot of rage manipulation right now. Well. Okay. Now, last time I said that I think I thought rage decayed, but rage does not decay. Any rage you apply stays there. So this three rage is three rage. Add two holy strength. Creates two holy strength cards and adds them to your hand. They will stay into your deck until the end of battle. So we can play the blue version for six breaking damage, so it will ignore the arm the block. Uh, and it's stealth. Or we can deal the red version to deal 12 piercing, so it will ignore armor, and it's also stealth. Interesting. Intriguing. I'm tempted to try out Valor. Rage is unbelievably powerful. For reasons I'm sure you can understand. What is my red three cost right now? It's taunt, right? Hmm. Wouldn't it be funny? We'll take Valor and I I guess Divine Intervention. Let's see if we can play to this rage mechanic. Usually gaining stats is good. I'm sure that is a surprise to many of you. We'll take it over Taunt. Taunt's more defensive, but who needs defense when you just murder things? You know? Five armor, gain one protection. That could be good. That is a one cost card as well. I love Iron Fist, deal six, gain eight armor. Deal 18, gain three bleeding. Bleeding is really bad for the character because uh, it deals damage as you play cards. Mm, mercy could be amazing. Heal 12. Gain one shielded. Of course, it's a three cost card, and I've talked about how sketchy those can be. I think we'll take Iron Fist. Ah, uh, will we? Yeah. So Iron Fist is just a direct upgrade over block. Of course, there is the argument to be had. If you're fighting an enemy with counter, then Iron Fist will trigger the counter, whereas the block will not, but they're both eight armor. It's some damage on top of it. It's all pretty swell and good. We move on to the next lair of hell. And we are fighting the swarm of flies, these little shits. They, of course, have rage themselves, a mechanic hopefully we familiarize ourselves with. They apply disease, which will be giving us some unwanted cards. I was really hoping that I would draw, you know, a big damage card. Alas, we can still hit for 16. Which feels good. Not ideal, of course, but it feels pretty good. We could even double flip for some more valor. Could have flipped this as well to get a Master Slash going, which wouldn't have been terrible. Disease, of course, adds this to our hand, which feels pretty bad. And we're going to take 10 to the face here, but there's not a whole lot that can be done about that. Unfortunate. Unforge, as the kids say. We... Ah, oh dear. We want rust or decay. How about neither? 
Neither seems good. We can deal 10 and gain some more armor. As long as we don't play this card, we can actually tank this five to four times perfectly. Can't play that? I'm sensing a trend here. I can't play my bloody cards. My cards! 40 damage on the Master Slash. 40. Hmm. We'll gain some more block. And there we go. 25 damage straight to the face of the little shites. That was good. That was good. We have a Stealth Rejuvenate again. That could be good. Some counter, some taunting. Deal six, gain three counter. Hmm. So counter is an interesting mechanic. It is basically just thorns. Um, I found it's hard to acquire to gain enough counter for it to really be a big deal, though. So we'll take rejuvenate. We can also just take this. It's fine. Great. I'd prefer to play into the armor, though. So like more iron fists, if we could. However. What if we rejuvenate over a shield? Let's try it out. Now, of course, remember, it is a delay card, meaning that uh, it's not going to heal us right away. It will only heal us after we redraw. But redrawing is a very pivotal, pivotal part of our strategy. I don't know why that was so hard to say. I would love to draw. I don't think I can some big damage. Nope. Slashes, double slashes as big as it's going to get. So the Rotten Intestine. A truly uh, detestable foe. 40 hit points, down to 44 armor. He is going to deal piercing and breaking damage, meaning no matter what type of defense you rely upon, he will find a way to a snake around it. If we try to get Valor rolling, which wouldn't be a terrible idea, we're going to take a lot of damage. That might just be how we have to run it down. Hmm. I would love to Master Slash. It would feel so good to punch him in the face for 28. However, I think we're going to exercise a moment of caution. By parrying this attack, it is piercing, which means we it goes through armor. We'll preserve some of our hit points. And look at that. The stealth. We can play it. Okay, stealth might be really good. I might have been sleeping on this mechanic. Now, gain one rage for two pips doesn't seem particularly grand, does it? Excuse me, gain one rage for two pips. That seems even worse. I would love to wide slash this guy right across the face. So I think I'm going to. We are going to take this 12. It is unfortunate, but it is oh, what it is. Bonk. We might even redraw here. Let's do it. With the redraw, we are going to heal for 10, but then we are going to take a 6. So we effectively heal for 4, which isn't too bad. Not too bad. We can do it once again. Why not? Maybe. Hmm. I might be able to kill him. We'll see. Hmm, maybe not. In order to kill him, I'm going to have to flip this 18. And I really don't want to take 18 to the face.
Hmm. He lives at one through Master Slash. Well, isn't that infuriating? We can flip again, but remember, the other sides are also ready to pop off. Let's flip for four eight hit points. Maybe we'll draw something good. We can wide slash. We can't rejuvenate. We take 14 if we block. And of course, we flip everything to blue. If we hit for 18, we take 24. That seems a little worse. And yet, I kind of think that's what I'm doing. Now, this may seem foolish to you, and perhaps it is. But we kind of have to kill him. We can't just keep dancing around, hoping that eventually... We'll be fine. Now, there is a way for us to win here with uh, with by healing. And we're going to roll for it. We're going to heal for four once again. And we didn't draw it. I was hoping for wide slash here. But it's fine. Because these two had pips ready and rearing to go. There it is. <laughs> but it didn't matter in the end. We claimed victory over the rotten intestine. Is that the best way to play that? I don't know, but I am going to take Iron Fist. Um, I'm sorry, what? Why would I only deal six damage to Jean? I don't know. So we'll take Divine Intervention. I'm not going to use it, but we'll take it. We gained another Iron Fist. Big fan of this card. In case that wasn't obvious. We have a rather robust deck. Full of options and potentials. Ah, two mana, one Rage. Doesn't seem overly good. But I suppose we will take it. It might be better to change that to shield, actually. I don't know what this boss fight's gonna look like. I do know what this fight's gonna look like. And I'm tempted to not do it. Do we skip Cerberus? The Dread Demon. I'd really like to. You know what? Let's switch this to shield. That could be a mistake. But we will see. And I think I am going to skip Cerberus. Because then we can see... What the boss fight looks like. I'm sure I'm going to die a horrible and most painful death. But, um... We'll see how it all plays out. Now, once again, I did not draw a great hand for this crit. But it be when it be. The Drunken Devil. I don't believe we've ever faced this enemy before. He has 80 hit points, 40 armor. And if we re-roll, he will gain 3 armor and erase the highest debuff and the highest buff. So that could be pretty good for us. He's also applying many debuffs to us. Decay, bleed, all very not good. For my well-being. If we re-roll, we redraw here. This will be one red and two blues, which cannot provide us with any significant damage. Wide slash is two red, so we really just needed to play or draw that turn one. Kind of sucks, but hey. It be what it be. Now, Decay means we take more damage for each stack of Decay that we have whenever we are attacked. So, ideally, uh, we don't get too, that too high. Bleed means we'll take damage every time we play a card. We also don't want that to be too high, which means we are probably going to be redrawing quite a lot here. Oh, 
I wouldn't mind flipping this. Hence why I'm going to. Weak. Oh, no. You know... I might be able to flip this, too. With the shield. And then Master Slash him. Of course, I'd love to Valor to be... We're going to do it. Valor to get some more rage going, so our damage is just better, but... Hey. Oh. Uh, we're going to Rejuvenate as well. Now notice that... Oh. Oh. I thought it would give this one a pip and not this one a pip. I'm not sure. Does it just not give pips at all? It'd have been so much easier to explain it that way. But anyway, we're going to hit the 25. We are going to take 11 here. Six from the attack and five from the decay. It is unfortunate. But it is what it is. I'd love to be playing the red versions of both of these cards. Both of them. It'd be great. It'd be fantastic. Marvelous. Wondrous. But here we are. Okay. Um, I think stealth cards are good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I I think stealth cards are good. I think they're they're really good. We are going to go ahead and redraw here. We're going to heal for 20 hit points. Bibbidi bobbidi Get off my property. We are also going to draw a wide slash. Pretty good. We're back to full hit points. Man, it feels good to have a plan. It is unfortunate that flips so quickly, which means there's probably no way we do not get this bleeding effect on us. Um... We'll flip this to get a shield going anyway. How bad is... I don't remember how bad the red version of this was. Oh, it was pretty bad. <laughs> See if we can draw some damage here. I just need one more one attack. Oof. I wish I could check the other side of these. Hmm. Might be worth a flip. We can work through three armor. It'll be two blues and one red. We'll flip. We'll see how bad this ends up being. It should be okay. Yes. We flip this and we deal 15. Straight to the face. We're down to 58, but hey. We proved just how much we could heal with the stealth. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. More Valor. The spirit of Valor. How long has it been? It's been so long since I've heard that. Oh. Good old Dragon Age. We have double shops here. I'm not sure why. Especially since I don't have a freaking... I mean, I'll take this. Sure. I wonder... You know what? I wonder if prepare is good. It might be. Okay, these are both shops. Um, I'm not sure why there isn't a deck edit. But as I said, we've fought Cerberus before. It slew Jean d'Arc. But then we killed it with Flood. So we are going to move on and see Beelzebub for the very first time. The great demon, Beelzebub. Well, hello, the Lord of Flies. You have the 300. Hath the luncheon been served? 350 hit points. Oh, if we redraw, he is going to heal for 5 and apply weaken 3. Oh, dearie me. 
dearie, dearie, dearie. This card, one pip, week one. Nine times three, boost, and bleeding three. This is going to be a tough fight. Especially since I don't have a cleanse of any kind. Hmm. We could... Parry and see what we draw. Which I suppose is what we're going to do. Week one blows. 45 damage. Rust nine. Are you serious, Beelzebub? Okay. Well... <laughs> Thy intestines are to know more. What shall be the use of thee? Something, something. Something, something. Now, Rust 9, of course. Rust 9. Uh, means our armor is going to evaporate. As in, is it even worth having armor? I don't know. What is the blue version of this? I'm going to play the delay card. Fucking ow! It's 27 damage and bleeding 6! Great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Beelzebub. Now, there's a slight issue here. This card is going to consume all my shields. That is the slight issue. So, we should probably just start working through his hit points. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. There's a world. Okay. We'll block all 18 of this damage. Uh, now we wide slash. Right? Do we iron fist? Probably do both, to be honest. Actually, I'd love to Valor here. Um, that does mean I'm going to have to take 27 to my face. <laughs> which is not ideal. So what I'm picturing here in my mind is we take a huge amount of damage and then we refresh with the Rejuvenate. That's kind of where I'm seeing this going. And the armor is kind of getting in the way of that, to be honest. We're probably going to proc this if I had to guess. All right. Rust 9 is really going to suck. But I think we just embrace the fact that... Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, yep. Okay, that's fine. We're good. All's well in the realm. Shielded. We're going to pop this next. We got a week. That's fine. Uh, we're going to have triple red. That's fine. We can Valor. Blocked. Get fucked. Beelzebub. We'll Valor up. I'm really not interested in having Decay here. But I think I'm going to Wide Slash. We're going to have to reroll soon. So we Wide Slash, Stealth, reroll. Take eight, four. Ugh. Question. <laughs> Does this trigger bleed? We're going to assume yes. Reroll. Rust. I need to rejuvenate. Okay. Ow. Actually, the armor there might not have been a bad idea. 
rejuvenate. Oh, the bleed. Uh, I haven't even... I've barely gotten rid of 100 hit points with Beelzebub. Okay. I die in three turns. You know, that redraw relic actually would have been really powerful here. Hmm. Redraw is also applying weak in three to me. I kind of forgot about that. Wow, this bleed is brutal. I don't know if there's a cleanse card in the game. Hmm. There probably is. I just don't know where it would... Where it would be. Hmm. I think I'm dead. No matter which way I spin this. Because we play this card, right? We take seven. Oh, and then we took decay damage on top of that. Ripperino, we are dead. Uh, also, nothing is buildable. Oh, a god. <laughs> well, we've seen Beelzebub. Hmm. So to fight Beelzebub, I think what we're going to want is <sighs> a lot, to be honest. We're going to really need, like, a cleansing card. He just has so many stupid debuffs. All right, I'm going to run it back. Uh, I might just go fight Beelze er, Cerberus and see if he drops rare cards or something? We'll see. But I'll see you in a second. So we found a new card after defeating the first enemy, and it's called Outflank. I deal six, and I add one flank to hand, which are both stealth cards. And the blue version is gain ten armor for one, and the red version is deal nine for one. That sounds really good. I'll take it. We also found Rejuvenate as well. So we're probably going to go ahead and just craft a new two-cost card. Or edit these ones. That seems good, actually. Let's do that. Keep the deck small. Smooth. And let's run it down. Alright, well, I just skipped the first combat because that was the easiest one, I guess. But <laughs> the lump of flesh, an enemy we have seen. Well, we saw earlier. Seen many, many times. Let's see if our stealth cards can uh, actually do something against this guy. Maybe they can. Maybe they cannot. I'm actually going to be pretty sw uh, happy as long as I don't trigger that. That's all I'm interested in avoiding right now. <laughs> Everything else is fine. Gaining 10 armor, fine. Flanking, fine. So this is a stealth deal 11. I like it. Picasso. I dig it. We have a wide slash and a glorious, wondrous victory. Hmm. I'm still trying to figure out how the heck I'm going to fight deals above, and I'm really not sure. Deal six breaking damage three times, gain two weak. Hmm. Gains protection. Another stealth guard. We'll gain the storm of slashes, God's will. We'll make a three cost. It just hits hard. No big deal. No. Big deal. It was very rare we actually lined those up, but that should be okay. At the damn reward, we find the ones we usually found. I do like Alexander of Macedon, but we are going to take Ragnar here. I think that could be very powerful. It's essentially six armor. If... Another outflank. Not bad. Or excuse me, ten armor. If we have none when we... Reroll. We'll be replacing block with outflank. And moving on. Beelzebub is actually pretty far... Excuse me, Cerberus is pretty far up here. So let's go fight Cerberus. That was what I wanted to see anyway. 
Now that we've unlocked rare cards, does Cerberus have access to special cards, or is it just a chance to find rare cards everywhere? I don't know, but we're going to find out right now. Now, Cerberus, if you didn't see our fight last time, he is a big bastard. 150 hit points, 50 armor. If we redraw, he will gain 15 armor and protection too, so his armor will be more effective. And unlike last time, we cannot steal that protection. So it's worth noting that, uh... We're... We're going to take some damage. We can just play into these blue cards here to try and trigger God's will. That wouldn't be awful. Um... Yeah, sure. I don't remember... The flank is two reds, right? It sure is. Now, we could gain some armor ourselves, or we can deal 11. Wow, look at this. Hmm. It might be... Ah, I do like damage. But... Let's gain some armor, shall we? I have a feeling uh, these stealth cards are where it's at. <laughs> Just this slight feeling, you know? I'm really not sure what's giving it to me. I'm sorry, is that four damage seven times? Hmm. Is that more than 42? <laughs> Maybe, for whatever reason, quick math is failing me right now. Let's deal the 42. That was the plan anyway, right? Kneel, demon, before God's will. That was a lot of damage. I liked that. We are also going to outflank, and I think we're going to gain the armor. Okay, that is 16 to the face. Of course, it doesn't feel great, but um, just free armor. You know, it's free real estate. Want to see me do it again? Can I just play out flanks? Can my hand be all out flanks? That'd be pretty swell. 8 times 3 is 24. I did that math correctly. can't erase my highest buff if there's no buff to... Oh, well. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We have just a whole bunch of slashes in our hands. I'd love... 24 damage two times. No, no, I... I, I don't think I'm interested in that. Can we get a rejuvenate? Not really. Rejuvenate. Okay. Let's get a parry. We are going to be redrawing here. After deal some more damage. Mm, a wide slash for 20. Another outflank. I'd take 10 to the face. Okay. We gotta take some damage sometime. I have lost two rage, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. It's okay as long as I don't trigger this. Also, I gain 10 armor. Oh. Wait a minute. After you redraw, is that whenever I just draw more cards into my hand? Anyway, I can just heal now. And just like that, we're gonna have to shuffle a roo. Let the redraw begin. Gain some protection. That is unfortunate. I suppose we could science this up. I don't remember how many pips the other side of this hand. But let's find out. 
It took eight. Oh, I need no armor. Ah, oh, darn. It had three. And now it has four. Because God's will speaks to the demon. And it will demand its death. Okay. Nine, eighteen, fifteen, exact lethal. Cerberus, you have been failed. And we acquired some very rare resources. Now our cards. Is this special? Wow. Yeah. I mean, maybe? Probably. So we've seen our first burn cards. These are in a lot of Slay the Spire-like games. Uh, when you play the card, it will not go to the discard pile. It'll just be unavailable for the rest of combat. And that might not be the worst thing in the world. There also is Master Block, uh, which I can't help but notice is just a better version of Taunt. Gain five shielded unconditionally. Well, that sounds fantastical. There's also Colossal here. Multiply Jean's armor by two. Burn. Now, under normal circumstances, this could actually be really powerful. But remember, against Beelzebub, Russ is going to be ticking away our armor like crazy. Do we still just do it? Maybe. What is my other three cost card already? Just big damage. I like big damage. It's very difficult to play a 3-cost card, and this is just 30 damage to the dome. And, it's worth noting that burn cards... Hmm. And basically, we could use this to, if we have the minimum size deck of 6, this counts as a card, right? We play it, now our deck is only 5 size, so we have just a really small deck that we can draw through reliably and it might be dewey however our deck is seven if we replace one of our slashes with burning slashes we'd be able to bring it down to six we only have two one costs and there is a world in which our hand just gets filled up with cards that we can't even play because that world already exists Eh? Maybe I don't care. Maybe it's okay. We could try it. In fact, we can turn this to Master Block. So if we have all reds, we deal fat damage. If we have all blues, we gain fat shields. Feels good. Defense and offense on one card. Amazing. All right, let's test it out before we run down to Beatles. Bubba. 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 Hmm. Hmm. The gutter demon. Well. Shall we? Let's test out the burn, huh? Anointments. Burn it up. But to inflict pain on others is a treasure. Also, there's something I just noticed. Um, when we gained a strength here, that burn... Oh. It's really small. I don't even know if you can see it, but underneath the attack in the little box, it says basic damage, 600% of 7 strength. I think what that means is that each card has a different way of scaling its damage with the strength modifier, uh, which is beyond confusing, but I'm also not that upset about it. <laughs> Really, if I had to be honest, did I just win? I did. Oh my God, stealth cards are good. Stealth cards are where it's at. Okay. Stealth 
go. I haven't found... I still haven't found a way to cleanse. Even with all these self-debuffing abilities, there still hasn't been a cleanse. Hmm. Boost? If you know where that's from, you're a weeb. <laughs> Just like me. Um... This one shield it is pretty hif pretty nifty. I don't think I want to get rid of both of them to be honest. Uh, one rage is also not bad. I kind of like my deck. I mean, hmm. let's run it down again. Let's see what we see. This one flies the little shites fifty thirty. Okay. Some early strength gains, not bad. See, they're going from 30 damage to 35 damage. Isn't that, am I the only one that's, like, intrigued by this? Anyway, let's burn that. Be gone deck. Be gone from the deck. Now, this thing is going to deal piercing damage. Ah, uh, when we play this outflank card. Which is unfortunate. But hey. We are destroying it. Demolishing it. God's will. We could rejuvenate. But I'd really prefer not to reroll against this enemy if I can help it. Okay. <laughs> not great. But it'll do. Because that's a GG. The flank. Coming in hot. Not bad. Not bad. I wonder if we should cut a slash from our deck. Boost. Again. Hmm. I'm not the only one debating that, right? Just like yeet and delete this. Although, again, the problem comes down to the fact if I delete this and burn this, we now have one one cost in our entire tank. Which could cause problems. Like, if we have God's Wheel just sitting there on the left side, we're drawing two cards. We could draw this, maybe, or we could run into this stuff that's just kind of sitting there. Do I have one more regular fight? I uh, let's try it. I can just make a new one, right? Yeah, I can just make a new one. All right. This could be fine. This could be fine or terrible, or both. Somehow. The rotten intestines of foe. We have fought numerous times. Let's trigger this breaking damage if we can. Because, of course, breaking goes through a block, which we don't have. Piercing goes through armor, which we do have. Outflank. Um, hmm. So, if we outflank again, we take 30 damage. Well, 30 minus 8, 22 damage. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, no, we're fine. 30. 22 damage. Then I open up Master Block, which I get, I guess, sure, whatever. You gotta take damage to make damage. Is that how that saying goes? Let's gain five block. Or five shielded. Block, shield, it's the same bloody thing. Rejuvenate. Armor, for when this breaking damage comes in. We'll only take two, feels good. Burn. 
all of his armor is gone. 11, 3, 12. Let's flip this. All the blocks. Outflank. Rejuvenate. Uh, so I'm healing 20. I wonder if this piercing is to be blocked by my block. It should, right? So he lives at two. We redraw. Gained 10 armor because of that guy. Thank you, Ragnar. We healed 20. GG. Get owned. The rotten intestines fall before the might of Jean d'Arc. Um, this is not particularly great. I don't really care about any of this. TBH. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -da I don't know what the noise is in the background, but I wish it would stop. It stopped. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at our cards one more time. How do we feel about the lack of one costs? I didn't mind it that much. I didn't mind it that much. I like White Slash. I wonder if it'd be better to have Rejuve over the shield, the one shield. I think it would be. Especially with the, the, <laughs> the risky game we're about to be playing here. Alrighty. Let's advance. We only have a few more combats before... This is two runs in one. I don't know how... This starts with five shielded. Are you serious? Yep. Okay. Shouldn't have gotten rid of so many slashes. Uh, so if we can play this, it will auto-erase his buff. Which is worth noting. I am going to take tw uh, 32. That's quite a lot. Especially since I can just remove it myself. I did this for a reason. Well... I might as well gather all my baths. Don't mind me. Or stealth. Cycle the deck. Use the stealth to cycle master block. Now he is going to gain. He's going to remove two block. Uh, and then he is going to gain three. Which is fine. We dealt damage. Wow, this guy is annoying. Holy shit. So basically, we want to t do as much damage as possible in between his shielded. So, uh, let's get a Burning Slash here. And GG. Look at that fat damage. That went well. Sacrifice Rage. Heal 20. Gain one shielded. Would it be better... Hmm. Against Beelzebub, is it better to gain five shielded, or is it better to heal and gain one shielded? I think it's better to heal and gain a shielded. I mean, he does have really powerful attacks. But part of the problem is the sheer volume of debuffs coming my way. With bleed and decay dealing just 
unholy amounts of damage. Hmm. Hmm. It's worth thinking about. Worth thinking about. The Drunken Devil. Our first time fighting him was last time. He has a, an effective hit point pool of 120. We'll see if we can dwindle that away. This would have been a really good... Actually, the guaranteed crit from Alexander of Macedon would have been pretty powerful with Burning Slash. That's 60 damage. That's not bad. Not bad. Take some armor. Why not? We can flip this for God's Will, which might not be te terrible. Okay, correction. I can maybe flip this for a God's Will. Maybe. Uh, what's coming my way? Six bleeding. I think I think armor blocks bleeding. Okay. Note to self. <laughs> I don't think a God's Will is happening. Instead, we're going to get a master block here. Ooh, decay and pierce. Feels bad. Uh, let's get some more block. Master block it is. Bleeding and decay. This is a start, a test for what uh, is coming from Beelzebub. Uh, so something went through my ar my health directly, and something was blocked by armor. I didn't catch which though. Let's stealth heal. Ow. Double stealth heal. Yeah, the bleeding is hurting. Pretty bad. Triple stealth heal. <laughs> We're back to full, baby! Rage. Against the machine. Alright, we're back to full health. That's an interesting notion. Um, sure. We'll block this. We're gonna, be, we're gonna set up a kill here, basically. Is where this is going. At least I hope. That is the plan. Alright, he's down to four. And now we redraw. We heal for 40 damage. Uh, game? I need an attack. I need a different attack. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, game. Literally one overkill. Okay. Um, I actually think that was okay. I do kind of stand by the idea of heal 20 is better than the 5 shielded. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. It, it did work there. We did work there. I wish this wasn't a 3 crossed. I think it's just too expensive to play. Especially since the breaking and piercing isn't really applicable to uh, this particular fight. Uh, plate armor wouldn't be bad if I was gaining armor. Like, if we were doing an actual armor build, I think plate armor would be amazing. I actually don't think any of this is good, though. Okay. Look, the second time... Well... Oh. He can see the damage required through the run. The active damage will help you during a fight. Your domination stat limits the number of the damage to use and will their summary power. Available section serves as a roster. The roster is not limitless. If you fill all slots, you will be able to get more. Uh, 
Okay, that made no sense to me, but that's all righty dighty. I think we're gonna go. Beelzebub. Pot. I have no idea how I'm going to edit this. Beelzebub. Pot. Two. No righty, Beelzebub. Once again, your whopping 350 hit points are terrifying. I wish I could apply weak to you. You can apply weak to me, but can I apply weak to you? It might be in my best interest to try and hold on to this burn damage, because it scales well with uh, rage. And I'd be able to show you that if I didn't have weaken. Here comes our first bleeding. Maybe I just get rid of the burn to have the thin deck. getting out flank rolling. So we have the bleeding. Does the bleed go through armor? I think it was Decay that was going through armor. Nope, it's bleed. Bleed goes through armor. Okay. <laughs> Great. Good to know. Um, we are... Dear Lord. So he doesn't erase my buffs. That's good to know. I do want this master block. Uh, so I think we're going to actually go for that. I think. If I flip this. I don't remember what the other red card is. It could be fine. It could be terrible. <laughs> also worth noting, I suppose. Let's flip it. What happens? What do we got? This is the decay. Okay. That's the decay. That's good to know. I still kind of want the Master Block team. <sighs> well. Here we go. <laughs> and again, I'm too weak. Help me. Help me. Wow. There goes nine armor. All right, we need to play all of our stealth cards right now. There goes eight armor. In fact, if I could just infinitely cycle stealth cards, life would be pretty slow. That came back. Rage is back. Our weekend's gone. Here we go. The stealth... The stealth infinite cycle. <laughs> good. Anakin, good. Your hate has made you strong. <laughs> I can feel your anger. We have five shielded. Okay. It gives you focus. Let's go, Beelzebub. You and me, boy. Uh, we already just rip damage here. We're going to have to flip very soon. Uh, do we outflank again? Sure. Let her rip.
More healing. <laughs> More. Now we have one... Um... One shielded left. All the rust is gone. So I could pop this. The benefit of popping this is that when I rotate, we have two reds for more outflank. Okay, we're going to be re redrawing here in a second. And I guess that second is now. Uh, this is my last shielded. We're getting bleed six. Alright, we redraw now. We're gonna get weakened, but we're gonna full heal. We have two blues, uh, so we can pop this back. Keep the redraw going. We have that in our hand again. Uh, for what it's worth. Red was actually more damage there. More stealth. Just stealth, 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 stealth. Stealth, 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 stealth. Um. Okay, ten. Beals above is slowly being chipped away. Are we gonna do it? Stealth is so strong. Holy crap! Deal twelve. I'm keeping this one flipped over so I can just keep healing. Yes, John. Yes, John. <laughs> All right, we're healing for our entire health pool, which means it is now safe to go ahead and flip a roo. Gain that rage. Okay. Now it is worth noting. That is 45 damage. So I probably should have tried to get a master block going there. Uh, that's my bad. But we can make do. So we're going to flip this and then redraw. Well, I'm going to fucking try. Some quick math needs to happen here. Wow, that's 20 damage on this flank. Okay, so 45 plus 9 is 54. Plus 7 is a lot. <laughs> I think we're going to have to redraw now. Which is very unfortunate. So we're going to do what damage we can. And we redraw. We're back to full health. We have two blues and a red on the table. Three weaken and some decay. We can actually flip this now and master block. Uh, we'll go ahead and stealth first. Fantastic. Stealth again, just in case. You never know. Alright, flip this. Take the bleed. Another stealth. Just in case. I'm not I have not come this far to fall. Okay. We've come this far. Let's secure the dub. Master block it up. Five shielded. Deal 25. Our two shields eat this. 
Bop, bop. We have rust. And decay. 12 decay really blows. But you know what else we have? That's right. We have rejuvenate. And master block once again. Uh, that should be enough. So let's master block it up. <laughs> Outflank. Uh, nope. Wide slash. Beelzebub lives at one hit point. One. And with our final draw, the greater demon of gluttony falls to Jean d'Arc. Ah, shite. <laughs> Beelzebub, the lord of flies, the master of the sin of gluttony, had to fly away defeated. He'll return someday, but what a humiliation it was. Now it is time to return to Nadir, prepare for a new expedition, and bring terror upon another mighty opponent. Round of applause. We did it. We have slain the foe, and I can't build anything. That's okay. It feels bad, but that's okay. We need a lot of resources, but with Beelzebub slain, I believe that means we have access to, um, I was hoping Moloch, sorry, what did that say? You need to build the cursed treasury to unlock this sin. Where's the cursed treasury? This. I need 50 skulls. Where do I unlock wrath enemies? Uh. Hello? Did did I did I already do it? <laughs> uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe we just need to keep running it down until we have this. Which I suppose I could do off camera. False gods, K-pop and such. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, that, my friends, was the defeat of Beelzebub. It took two tries. I have no idea how this will be edited, but that is all right. I'll figure it out myself. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. A round of applause for Jean d'Arc, the one, the only, who brought it home. Stealth is overpowered, and uh, that's my new strat every single time. <laughs> Thank you to the patrons and channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. And if you would like to stay updated and happy on our channel, feel free to join the Discord in the description down below, and I will see you next time. Perhaps we'll have a new unlocks. Perhaps we won't. Who knows? We'll see. Bye!